Few have suffered more during the pandemic than frontline health care workers, often barraged with apathy, even abuse, as they've tried to save people from COVID-19. One in five health care workers has experienced anxiety or depression during the pandemic. UW Medicine's Dr. Tony Bach has seen it in his colleagues. It's one thing to be a doctor and have uh, you know patients say, hey, thanks for the recommendation. I, you know, that's not for me. It's another thing to have somebody spit at you. Now, researchers at the UW School of Medicine want to find out if psilocybin, the psychoactive ingredient in magic mushrooms, can help with severe depression in those healthcare workers. A growing body of research shows the drug allows parts of the brain that typically don't talk to each other to do just that, creating new pathways for thinking and behaving. It's almost like a kind of a spiritual experience where you kind of are able to step back and go, oh, whoa, there's something much bigger happening here than just you know, this one patient, this one hospital room. I'm dissolving. Another psychedelic drug, ketamine, is legal and currently being prescribed for patients for everything from anxiety to addiction. But unlike ketamine, psilocybin has been deemed dangerous by the FDA with no medical use. Dr. Bach believes this study will show it does have medical use. And with the health crisis currently sweeping this country, the drug is not only useful, but desperately needed. We really need to explore, you know, what are the things that we can do to change up what is happening in the mental well-being of our, you know, of our popular, of our populace here. I think we're totally at a tipping point. At the University of Washington, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. If you are a medical professional and you're suffering from depression, the University of Washington researchers would like to hear from you. Just text the word study to 206-448-4545 and we will send you a link with information on how to apply.